ducks everywhere. So this is the wingman version of uh, romantic boat ride in Italy. Oh, yeah. On your right, there's the duck blind with a bunch of ducks flying by it. Yeah. We have a beautiful sunrise. We were actually a little late this morning. But you know, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a We're floating down to a public island. We got a massive cold snap. We get tucked in and we're going to start pounding some ducks. Stay tuned. Catch it up! Twenty miles an hour right now, and it was four below when we were at the gas station. All right, I need lights in front. This is the only part that, with this many guys in the boat, you can get in trouble. Scott's dream, right there. Just, oh, Hundreds of golden eyes. Hey, Todd, I told you <laughs> I have had a mentality change. I will not shoot a golden eye. So I I will. Hey, I'm an equal opportunist trigger puller. We're floating down to a public island. It takes about 40 minutes to float there in a drift boat. Um, you can do this on a lot of western rivers. I'm, we're not floating and shooting. We're floating set to a space and setting up decoys. We'll be decoying birds. We're a little late, but we should still be okay. There's lots of birds here. We're almost there. We're in a couple few more minutes and we'll be there. We're gonna hustle, get everything set up. There's just a few birds here, fellas. Just a few. Oh, he's not going to No current right here. We just moved about 150, 200 yards upstream. All the birds seemed to want to be on the end of the islands on the side channel we were on. We got one shot and I took a little bit of a poke, so call me Skybus or whatever. But anyway, so we're gonna set up right here, try and get in here, because we reached the conclusion we were just not hidden where we were at. So if your hide's not good, your hunt's not gonna be good. So that's what we're gonna do. So we've got Brian from High Mountain Seasonings. He's here with us. We are gonna go show you the nuts and bolts of how your jerky seasonings and sausage seasonings and all this other stuff gets made. These guys are the pros. I'm gonna leave it to them. We're gonna go check this out. Well, thanks for coming. Let's head in, guys. Appreciate you having us, though. The company's been in business now for 28 years. Okay. My wife and I bought it 17 years ago. Yeah, we have about a little over 200 products. We have 37, I think, employees currently. That's amazing. But they have to jump around and do a lot of different tasks to make that work. the big mixer over here, put it into a hopper system. We've got a system of weighing out each pouch and pouch in the field by hand. Mickey's very good at it. He's been doing it. He's been here for 10 years. He does a really good job at it. And these two gals are sealing the pouches. So. You get these little pouches in, in your kit and you're like, oh, well, how does, cool. Where does that come from? Exactly. <laughs> and to see this, it's like, Wow, this is quite the process. This is amazing to watch. Look at that wad of widgeon up there on the corner. So we moved back out to the main river channel to get some of the traffic that we saw early this morning and it's, it died. So. So in those really, really cold late season days, 
you don't necessarily need to feel like you've got to be out there right at first light. Yeah, you're missing some birds, but not as many as you think. And so think about that. Pay attention to what the birds are doing in your area. If they, if it's really cold and they're not really flying until later in the morning, don't waste your time getting up real early. It's a, it's a problem that we waterfowlers have. We got to be there at first light. We got to be there at first light or before first light, get set up. And this morning was a classic case in point where not so much. Once it just came in, Todd, they looked at us right there. And then they, they looked right here, looked right there, see more. So if we have more out there, maybe it'll help. Maybe. You're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't going to work. We decided to move down to the opposite end of the island after watching some birds come into this end. There's more food down here, um, more Russian olives leaning over the water. Sure enough, we floated down and a pile of mallards got up and flew out of here. So we are set up in the spot that they want to be. Hopefully they will come back. Not a lot of birds flying. Again, it's cold. It's gotten warmer as the days progressed, but we're scrambling try and put some put something together because so far it's been surprisingly tough so we'll see what we can do time to get hidden way too high <laughs> I started with the double reed, the double reed acrylic, and the birds have not, just didn't want anything to do with it. As soon as I switched to the single reed wood, a little raspier sound, a little bit louder call, they're eating it up. They've been all over it. So they're finishing well, they're coming in, looking into the decoys, we're getting some nice close shooting, which is important with this wind. So we're piecing together a limit. Yeah, look. I reached up and touched that one. No way. You see his wings stop? Yes. Piece it together. 
slow and sure. We may, knock on wood, just leave here with a three man limit. Hey, this is Dee Dee with Hanout and Jerky. Can I help you? We put all of our jerky, jerky kits together in this building, in this room, so we actually have a conveyor belt here. The first three people are actually filling the Woo! boxes. The next, <laughs> next three people are closing the boxes up and then the last guy's casing. Box comes off about every other second. We can do 150 cases an hour, going as fast as we can go. So. That's a 50 pound sack of garlic pepper. Yeah. Anybody want to have a steak fry tonight? I'll bring the garlic pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Some products we have to do outside the facility. It's still our formula, but we, then we bring them in here right. to finish them. Everything's wow. finished in Riverton, Wyoming. Where to next, guys? Let's head to shipping. There's a man wearing silk oh. on camera. <laughs> actually, <Yeah! laughs> we actually, we, we all wear it. We love the stuff. We wear it all the time. Yeah. So when everything is done in production, it comes back in pallets, back to shipping here. We ship all over the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, uh, and then small packages throughout the world also too. So, so right now uh, we're pulling a larger order that's gonna be palletized uh, and shipped by truck line. A lot of companies uh, have a special EDI system that every, every case is stickered so that we know that everything is 100% complete when we send it off, and then they can scan it right into their facility. The jerky seasonings and then, and then mm -hmm. the sausages, you guys are so much bigger than that. That's kind of, that was the core that we started out with, but we branched out into rubs, um, shaker bottle seasonings. Um, the burger seasonings is probably our newest line and bacon seasoning. Um, and that bacon seasoning. It's good stuff. You think, oh, how can you improve on bacon? And you sprinkle that on there and it's like, <laughs> we make oh bacon better. <laughs> make bacon better, you're not kidding. You guys are doing an awesome job and we're proud to be, you know, affiliated with you and- We appreciate that. Thank you. Some of the best parts about hunting birds is watching the dog work. Good boy, Todd. Good boy. Catch it up. So Brandon Trentham wrote a review for us on the Adrenal Line Finisher. I don't have one, I've never used one. We're gonna finish this bird with one because Brian has one. They, I've heard that they are super slick, they work awesome, so let's try it out. You literally just get it right behind the head, push in, turn it, dead bird. Bird's dead, just like that. That bird was perfectly alive. I wing tipped it, came by me, knocked it down, dog caught it. I mean, versus trying to wring a neck or something like that. Yeah. Because yeah, that's what I've always done. Yeah. I've always spun them right. and you wait for it, it binds and binds and then pop. Yep. But that is super Just fast. And twist and done. Yeah. And it's humane for the bird then too. Oh yeah, super quick. And if you're going to save a bird from mounting. Right, right. You didn't mess you don't anything up because you're neck. stretching out the neck. You can right. displace feathers, tear skin. Yeah. That's slick. It's worth it.
coming. He's coming. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, there he is. Nice work, Mackinac. Good boy. Good boy. We killed 17 ducks, literally, in this spot. You guys think we shot very well? <laughs> no, we should be by those standards. That's the way it is. We had a great time, and I'm telling you, if you get a chance to float a river, whether it's out west, whether it's back east, you need to take advantage of it. While you're out there doing it, you need to pull up a system like Onyx Hunt and look and see what land is public. We're on a public island. It was a great day. I'm glad we could do this, and thanks for bringing all the jerky, Brian. Yeah. Hey, eat something while we're sitting out here. Yeah, no yes. kidding. Get that turtle fire. High Mountain going. Jerky kept us fired up most of the day, which was good. So now it's time for supper. What do you guys think? Yeah, absolutely. Let's get these decoys picked up. Let's get in the boat and get out of here. That's a wrap. Let's do it. Woo! There you go, Sasquatch. That's what they call a shake and bake in Alaska. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Pretty good way to close out the day, huh? Yeah. Yep. Just a nice, calm, cold boat ride. <laughs> <laughs>